Hey everyone, so today I thought I would do something a little bit different. I have a special guest today. And um, I don't know, I feel like we've been doing more chill type of videos and hanging out where I'm cooking or my dogs are around or I'm cooking while my dogs are around. So I realized that you guys really haven't met my dogs formally. So I figured I could do a video where I introduce my dogs. Actually, I'm gonna do two videos, one for each dog, and then uh, tell you a little bit about them, tell you what their favorite things are, like food or what they do, a funny story about them, just tell you a little bit more about them. Um, if you're interested, I don't know. I thought it could be a fun thing to do. So I have a list of questions that I kind of, I looked up a pet tag or meet my pet tag and I added some of my own questions. Um, anyways, I figured I would start with the oldest of the family. This here is Bailey and he is wearing a very business casual outfit today. He's wearing his tie with peace signs on it. Bailey, you want to show him your tie? <laughs> you love it? Yeah, you're a good boy. We think he is a miniature pincher chihuahua mix. He's playing like he's timid right now, but this is our wild child right here. He is a wild man. For 15 years old, you would never guess. He runs the yard. He, I mean, we worry about him catapulting off of things because of his age, but some of the stuff we can't control. Like when he sees a rabbit or something or somebody rings the doorbell and he just bolts. He gets so excited. When did he come into my life? Okay, so my husband has had him since he was a baby. But uh, Bailey came into my life when he was five, I'm pretty sure. And he was even more of a wild man, just bouncing off the walls. But he has always had the biggest personality. And what else? What do you want to tell him? Huh? So 10 years ago, is that right? Yeah. What's his favorite human food? His favorite human food, I would say he will literally eat just about anything. So you have to be careful because anything that is dropped or around he will go for, uh, but he loves french fries. If he has to be particular, which he usually isn't, but his favorite would be McDonald's french fries, but he'll eat any french fries, tater tots, any sort of potatoes. He's a potato guy for sure. So nicknames, Bailey has the most nicknames of all, well we only have two dogs, but of all the dogs, he has the most nicknames because he kinda comes about them honestly, like he ends up, oh sorry bud, he ends up having like, just these random, uh, lobster breath Larry is one of them. I mean, I feel like that one speaks for itself. Bailey Whaley pretzel tail. I don't know how we got that one. Oh, chicken poop Bailey, because one time some organic fertilizer got spilled and it was like a chicken poop fertilizer and he was obsessed with it and wanted to eat it and just like would wait for the opportunity to get into it, which we would not let him. Like he was totally fine. He didn't get sick, nothing happened. But he, I don't know what it was, was like obsessed with it. So we called him Chicken Poop Bailey for the longest time. Bailey, oh, Bailey the Lonely Chode because he like goes off and does his own thing. Like he doesn't uh, always really like to be part of the family. And he joins the family on his own terms. So sometimes when he like goes and disappears and doesn't want to hang out with us, we call him Bailey the Lonely Chode. All right, what else do we call you, bud? Anyway. Uh, favorite place to nap, I think that's 1000% in our master closet. We have a bed in the master closet and somehow, I don't know if he pushes it or if it just slowly goes in that direction, but he it usually starts in one area and then it ends up somehow under the clothes. So like there's two rails and the lower rail has a bunch of jackets and somehow the bed gets underneath that and then we can't find him. We'll be like, where's Bailey? Where is he? And then he'll be underneath, sleeping underneath the jackets in his bed. But yeah, definitely any sort of dog bed, but especially the one that we ended up putting in our closet because he was in there sleeping on the rug, uh, but we didn't think that was probably that comfortable. Cause it wasn't, I mean, it's a little bit plush, but you probably needed a bed, don't you think, bud? Oh, favorite thing to do, definitely favorite things to do, pester the neighbors, he loves to sunbathe. He loves to, what else do you like to do, bud? Nap, he likes to bark out the window, like look out the window and bark at people walking by. But si since he's gotten old, he just really loves to nap, but he also really loves to eat. When it's dinner time, he likes to remind me about two hours before it's time for him to eat. He wants to let me know it's time for him to eat in two hours by pacing. But he also, I think, is trying to test to see if he can convince me to feed him earlier. So he'll start pacing around. 
and then he'll go lay down for a little bit and then an hour passes and then an hour before it's time for him to eat he gets really aggressive about it he'll try to find something on the floor that's or something he can walk by that will make a bunch of noise or he'll scratch his collar so it jingles like he wants us to know that he's ready to eat at about three o'clock he starts it least favorite thing for him oh he hates getting his nails done like hates it more than anything in the whole world he is thoroughly enjoying this quarantine he doesn't let us touch his nails without biting or screaming or scratching us like he will absolutely not let us do his nails and then we take him to the vet to get it done and he is this perfect little angel he's enjoying this quarantine of not being able to get his nails done or go anywhere to get anything done right now he's loving it next is funniest memory so this one's pretty good all right so my husband was playing his like a, his acoustic guitar he was tuning it or just strumming on it playing it like just playing around and bailey comes in and we start, you know, talking about what kind of music Bailey would like. So my husband starts playing different types of music, different little jingles or different little things. And he starts playing this one that's this like, kind of sounds like Jack Johnson, like surfer kind of, I don't know, music on the guitar. And so Bailey comes up and like is clearly enjoying it comes up, stands next to my husband's legs, and starts taking his tail and slapping his tail on my husband's leg to the beat. So he's like, do 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 do. I don't know, I think I have a video of it. I do, I'll put it right here so you can see it. It is hilarious. He just like is slapping his tail to the beat of the music. You're getting restless, I can tell. I'm so surprised you've lasted this long. You're such a good boy. He's a good boy. A booger coming out of your eye or something? What's going on here? I know. Got a dirty eye. All right, naughtiest thing he's, hey babe, what's the naughtiest thing he's ever done? Huh? What do you think is the naughtiest thing he's ever done? He got into that. I already told the chicken poop story. So I had to ask my husband because I haven't had him my whole life or his whole life. And so uh, my husband says that the naughtiest thing he's done, uh, he would, first of all, any sort of crawler, you know, those um, donuts, you know, the crawlers or crawlers or whatever they're called. Uh, my husband would get those and apparently uh, he would find a way to get them no matter what. If they were high up in a cabinet, uh, on a shelf. Somehow, some way, he always found a way to get to those dang crawlers, apparently. So that, um, so that would also be one of his favorite foods uh, that I should have added to the list. And apparently, right before he moved out of his, mm. what, bud? You know that we're talking crap on you. It's like, I just wanted a crawler. Uh, also, uh, my husband said he chewed up all of his carpet right before he moved out of his apartment. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, and here, the naughtiest thing he did so he one day I went out like I'd let him out and I came outside to look for him because he hadn't come in and he was nowhere to be found and we have a fenced in yard and everything and I was like are you kidding me where could he have gone we have a fence well he had slipped out of the fence like underneath the fence and he was across the street with all these little kids that were kind of standing on this little mound of grass like a little it's like a little mound area where some of the kids end up going sledding during the winter and Bailey is over there I look around and he's like jumping like woo, woo, like trying to play with these little kids and I come running out like no like whatever anyways it was probably extremely entertaining for the kids and uh but naughty of bailey poor bud oh one time i was trying to give neens her i had just given him his heartworm medication i was trying to give neens her heartworm medication and he barged right in and just snatched it right before she could even open her mouth snatched it out of my hand and had taken two heartworm medications apparently i looked it up it was okay but i didn't think dogs could even be that excited to take heartworm but apparently bailey is that dog so I, this is one of my questions if they were in a band what would it be called so my husband and i uh, we've asked this before, like, if our dogs were in a band, what do you think their band would be called? So we say that Bailey would be Bailey and the Banjos, <laughs> uh, or Bailey and the Banshees, or a metal band called Bailey Behemoth. 
Uh, if he could drive a car, what would it look like? So we've also talked about this. I don't know if you ask yourself these weird questions or if you play along with this kind of stuff with your pets. Like you give them this whole, well, they have their own personalities, but like you play off their personalities and be like, I wonder what kind of music they listen to or if they could drive a car, what they would drive. Or if you see a car drive by and you're like, my dog would totally drive that car. If you don't think about that kind of stuff, then uh, I don't know what to tell you, but. Anyways, uh, we think Bailey would drive anything that has one of those decals with a wolf on it. You know what I mean? Those, the back window of like a truck or a van that has like the scenery with the mountains and everything. And then it has the wolf and it's <laughs> just this whole window decal. We think Bailey would definitely have that. I know, bud, you're probably hot cause I'm sweating. All right, well, we only have a couple questions left, okay, bud? But who's your favorite person? Mom. He's like, hell no, it's not you, mom. All right, next question, last question, bud. What's your favorite toy? Your favorite toy? So I would say his favorite toy, you like this? Uh, one of them is his chipmunk. I think it's a squirrel, but it's, we call it a chipmunk. And it's Bailey's chipmunk, but you like a chipmunk? You like a chipmunk? He's acting not interested. Lately, since he's... Lately, since he's gotten older, he hasn't really cared much about toys. Not as much as he used to. The chipmunk is definitely one of his favorites. His other favorite is his Kitar, which is just this Kitar dog toy. I don't even know. Uh, this was around before Ivan was around. Oh, it says it's from Old Navy. Kitar. But he really just, like I said, hasn't really been that interested in toys Probably in the last year or so, he's kind of slowed down a little bit. And by slow down, I don't mean slow down at all. In the morning, he is like, uh, he'll run outside and run around like a bat out of hell. But as the afternoon kind of progresses, he gets sleepy and he's an old boy. So he's just not as into toys as he used to be. But we're done, bud. We just thought, I thought we'd get on here and tell everybody a little bit about you and how you love crawlers and chicken poop and and how, what you like to play with, and how you like to pester your sister and the neighbors. Also, I'll end with this. So my favorite thing about Bailey is I love that he is so free-spirited and high energy, just brings this whole energy into a room and makes everyone really happy. When you come into a room, you can't help but laugh and smile at Bailey, so I love that about him. Another thing I love about Bailey is he's this super independent dog during the day. Like you were just seeing, like he wants to jump off and go do his thing. He doesn't want to sit here and cuddle with me, although he is being such a good boy right now. Um, but normally he's just during the day wants to do his own thing. But then in the middle of the night, he becomes this total mama's boy. What he does is he crawls up, he like snakes up the covers and lays uh, we lay back to back, just like sprawl out and we're back to back and he is so warm and I never want to get out of bed in the winter basically, but he is just such a good boy and we're so lucky to have him. Good boy. Anyways, that is it for my Meet My Dogs round one with Bailey. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up or what, pause up? Is that what it is, Papa? Oh. Say hey ghoul hey or hey Bailey hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Also, if you want to tell me about your dog or answer, I'll have the questions in the description. If you wanted to copy and paste those questions and answer any of those questions about your pet, tell us a little bit about your pet, that'd be awesome. You don't have to. You can just comment about whatever it is that you saw in this video or um, tell me what kind of pets you have. So um, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.